Hey guys, welcome back to Robo. Hope you guys are staying safe in your houses. And today, in this video, what we're going to talk about a 3D printer filament types. It's like what types there are, what are the purposes, application, pros and cons, everything that is to know but a few printer filament types. So let's get started. So an important part of 3D printing is to use the correct type of filament for the purpose and need that you want. So in this video, we're going to list down a few types of filaments. What are they? Their pros and cons and applications. So basically, 3D printer filaments are made up of a special type of plastic called thermoplastic, which when heated at the right temperature can bend and like you can mold it. So basically, a 3D printer heats the filament made up of thermoplastic at the correct degree so that it can sculpt the shape and form that you wanted it. ABS and PLA are like the most popular and like commonly used 3D filaments. So we're going to talk about them in a few more. So let's get ahead with the list. Basically, there are many types of 3D printer filaments out there in the market right now, like namely these. In this video, we're going to talk about five types of 3D filaments. And if you want to know more about every filament that you saw on that list, you can check out our blog. There's a whole detailed description about every filament and their pros, cons, applications, everything. You can check it out on our blog. The link is down in the description. So firstly, let's talk about ABS 3D filament. ABS is actually very popular for its toughness and like impact resistance properties. Strength and like moderate flexibility makes it a great choice for printing in 3D. The printing temperature range for an ABS filament is 210 to 250 degrees Celsius. ABS is like a great choice for printing plastic automotive parts, kitchen appliances, booming parts, musical instruments, etc. The main pros of an ABS filament is that it's strong, durable, flexible, lightweight, and it's also the cheapest type of thermoplastic that is available in the market right now. But there are a few cons, mainly being that it's a petroleum-based thermoplastic, so it's not biodegradable. Also, its melting point is like a very high temperature, so it's not basically used in many household 3D printers. And also, while printing it, it creates unpleasant fumes. In a poorly ventilated area, it's not the most ideal filament that you will use. The second type of filament is PLA, which stands for polylactic acid. It's a special type of thermoplastic, which is made from organic materials, mainly cornstarch and sugarcane. The main benefit of a PLA is that it's safer to use. The main benefit of a PLA is that it's much safer to use and when compared to an ABS, the stuff that a PLA produces is much more aesthetically pleasing. The print temperature for a PLA filament is 180 to 230 degrees Celsius. When professionally used, PLA filaments can be used for medical stitching and also surgically implanted rods, pins, etc. It is also great for producing a whole wide range of consumer products. The main pros that a PLA filament has is that it doesn't produce any fumes, whereas it produces like a sweet aroma when it's heated and it's also much easier to work with when compared to an ABS. It's also much less prone to warping than compared to ABS but it does have a few cons like it's susceptible to clogging the printer nozzle and it's also less sturdy when compared to the ABS. It also can attract moisture which makes it brittle and like difficult to work with sometimes. The third type of filament that we're going to talk about is nylon filament. Nylon filament is also called as polyamide. It's a synthetic polymer which is more durable and strong stronger than PLA and ABS and it's also more cost effective. It's also flexible, lightweight, wear resistant and less brittle than ABS and PLA filaments. The printing temperature for a nylon filament is 210 to 250 degrees Celsius. It's used like in a variety of products mainly like consumer materials, tools, mechanical parts, machine parts etc. The main pros of a nylon filament is that it's strong, durable, flexible, wear resistant and less brittle than ABS and PLA filaments. It's also 100% thermoplastic material. But there are cons which come with this type of a filament as well, namely that it requires again high temperature for melting. It also breaks down and emits toxic fumes when heated and mainly it also absorbs moisture easily. So the proper storage of these filaments is very essential. The fourth type of filament that we're going to talk about is wood filament. Yes, there is a wood filament. It exists. It, this filament is made of a mixture of like recycled wood and like a special binding polymer. So the output not only looks like wood, but also smells like it. The printing temperature for a wood filament is 200 to 260 degrees Celsius. And you can use this filament for like home decor, furniture, tables, chairs, anything that you need to be made of, or like at least look like wood or like it has wood in it. So it's just wood. The main pros of this filament is that it actually contains like recycled wood fibers. And also if you heat it at like a higher temperature, it creates darker shades of brown. Also, the 3D print temperature stimulates like the growth ring effect that the trees have. It's pretty cool. But there are cons when it comes to this. Like it's a weaker and softer material when compared to the PLA. It is less flexible, so it also breaks easily. The fifth type of filament that we're going to talk about is PETT filament. This stands for this. It's just 
too long. It also stands for tea glaze filament. This is very popular type of filament which has a material which is very food friendly. The printing temperatures for PETT filament are 210 to 230 degrees Celsius. This is an FD approved polymer so the applications are very food related like kitchen utensils, food containers, your tiffin boxes etc. Pros of this filament is that it's very flexible, strong and it is biodegradable. It's FD approved so it's very safe and it does not degrade when in water. The cons that this filament has that it's a very difficult material for beginners to work with and also the printer nozzle needs fine tuning for like best result. If you have worked with 3D printers before, you can work with this filament. If you're a beginner, this is not that easy to work with. And that's it, those are five types of 3D printer filaments. And if you want to know more about all these types of filaments, you can go check out our blog, there's the first link down in the description. If you like this video, leave it a like and share it with your friends who want to know more about 3D printer filaments. Also, we are putting out content on Instagram also on a weekly basis. So if you haven't followed, follow us on Instagram, it's on this handle. Also, comment down below what kind of content would you want to see from us during this time. Yes, we are working on the stuff that you suggested, so stay tuned for that. Subscribe for that. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.